This is not about your everyday art gallery or your everyday artists. Okay, first off, don't come to this gallery expecting wine and cheese. I had to find out the hard way. Hey, where's the wine and cheese? Okay, so I'm a dork. But you gotta admit, it's not your everyday gallery that covers something like 20 city blocks of alley walls and isn't trying to sell you something weird. CVS crew has had Fairfax to La Brea down Melrose for like the last 20 years now. The gallery's artists, on the other hand, the fabled CBS crew, are your everyday artists in that they're misunderstood. We just did this thing in South Central for like KTLA, right? Yeah. And they come and set up and everything, but they don't focus at all on what we're doing. They're just making us out to be like some ghetto youth and this is like our only outlet and we're just some like deprived, retarded ghetto kids, you know what I mean? Ditch is a longtime CBS crew member and sick of the tart treatment. All of us have been to art school, all of us have credentials, done music, TV, you know, everything and we still don't get acknowledged for it. Every corner, wall, rooftop obviously, there's something painted on it but they don't respect it as an art. It's like barely considered like lowbrow. Not that that stops the crew. Their assembled works would completely cover the Great Pyramid of Giza at this point, though they're not promoting illegal graffiti. We've, you know, worked out agreements to paint all these walls. And we paint a mural, we keep it clean. And then they don't have to keep painting their wall white, wasting their money over and over and over and over again. The way companies exploit graffiti trying to appeal to us youngsters, it's, it's ironic that graffiti artists are still seen as criminals by most people. Something to make them look more dead. Well, I'm gonna splat, yeah, like, I'm gonna dead. throw the blood splats on his face, too. We just want it to be looked upon as art, just like art in the gallery is, you know? Some graffiti artists have gotten a break, or gotten good at playing the art world game. Their work is shown at hot galleries, and collectors buy it, hoping to appear edgy. It's sort of amusing how it lends legitimacy to something that was illegal five minutes ago. CBS crew doesn't make art star cash at their gallery. They're lucky if the stores pop for their paint. What they do get is street cred. That's Ditch? Oh, that boy's sick! He's a legend! The CBS guys could probably try harder to market themselves as the artists that they are. On the other hand, who really needs some cramped gallery when you've got what amounts to your own Sistine Chapel? Al fresco.